Welcome to Shy's Daily Trivia. All our trivia questions are generated or created from a video of the same title or subject from our other channel, Shy's 13 Random Facts. It would benefit you to go there first and watch the video before answering these questions. But if you choose not to, that's fine. You're more than welcome to go at it blindly. But if you do, remember to subscribe. Thank you. How it works. I will ask you a question and give you roughly 25 seconds before the answer will be shown to you. Today's trivia will be about the Grand Canyon. So sit back, put your thinking caps on, and well, just relax. Let's start off with question number one, true or false. There are hundreds of millions of years of missing rock layers in the Grand Canyon and no one knows what happened to them. The Grand Canyon has so many hidden secrets in it, which in my mind is one of the reasons it is one of the seven wonders of the world. Answer to number one, the correct answer is true. The Grand Canyon displays a geological phenomenon known as the Great Unconformity. 250 million year old rock lie directly up against 1.2 billion year old rock. Question number two. How many hours does it take to drive from the north rim to the south rim, which is only 10 miles as the crow flies? A. 3 hours, B. 4 hours, C. 5 hours, or D. 6 hours. Please feel free to share this video with all your friends, then you can compete against each other. It's always fun to compete against your friends. Answer number two, the correct answer is C. To drive between them through the park is about five hours. And if you didn't know that, you do now. Question number three, how many miles would you have to drive to get from the North Rim to the South Rim, which is only 10 miles across by air? A, 215 miles, B, 220 miles, C, 210 miles, or D, 205 miles. If you're enjoying these daily trivias, let your friends know about it. Don't keep us a secret from them. Let them enjoy our quizzes too. Answer number three, the correct answer is A, to drive between them through the park, it's about 215 miles, but only 10 miles by air. Question number four, true or false? John Wellesley Powell led the first expedition down the Grand Canyon in 1879. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button along with the notification bell. They're all just down below this video. This way you can be kept informed every time I upload a new video. Answer number four, the correct answer is false. John Wesley Powell led the first expedition down the Grand Canyon in 1869, not 1870. Question number five, what was the name or one of the names of the Grand Canyon before 1869? Do you know that one? Seems a lot happened in 1869. 
If you happen to find yourself running out of time, just hit the stop button. I do try to give you ample time, but I know we all read at different speeds. Answer number five. The correct answer is John Wesley Powell, and there's that name again, was the first to use the name Grand Canyon after it had previous been known as the Big Canyon or Great Canyon. Question number six. True or false, the Grand Canyon gets an average of eight million visitors every year. Make sure you listen to the question. Sometimes I word them in ways to misdirect you. Answer number six. The correct answer is false. The Grand Canyon gets an average of five million visitors every year, not eight. Question number seven. What year did the first automobile reach the Grand Canyon's south rim, departing from Flagstaff? Was it A, 1901, B, 1904, C, 1902, or D, 1903? How you doing so far? Are you getting most of them right? Let us know. We like to know these things. We're a curious bunch here. Answer number seven. The correct answer is C. The first automobile to reach the Grand Canyon South Rim was in 1902. Question number eight. How many days did it take the first automobile to reach the Grand Canyon South Rim departing from Flagstaff? Was it A, four days, B, five days, C, three days, or D, six days? Just a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button on your way out today and tell your friends about it. We love big groups. Oh, and don't forget, last one out turns the lights off. I'm the one that pays the electricity here. Answer number eight. The correct answer is B. The first automobile to reach the Grand Canyon South Rim took five days from Flagstaff. And now you know, in case you didn't already. I know I didn't. Question number nine, true or false? There are six rattlesnake species that live within the park boundaries of the Grand Canyon. Well, if that's the case, then I don't wanna go anymore. Thanks for watching and we hope you walk away today learning something from these videos. We do try to make it both educational and fun for everyone. We know that's what would bring you back at least the fun part. Answer nine, the correct answer is true. The Grand Canyon's pink rattlesnake is only found in the Grand Canyon and is one of six rattlesnake species that live within the park boundaries. Yep, as I said, I don't wanna go now. Question number 10, what year did Roosevelt sign a bill that proclaimed the Grand Canyon, a game reserve. A, 1905, B, 1906, C, 1907, or D, 1908. I hope to see you soon in another size daily trivia video. We do post daily, except on weekends. So if tomorrow is not a weekend, then hopefully you will join us. And if it is a weekend, we will be back on Monday. We're not going anywhere soon. 
Answer number 10. The correct answer is B. In 1906, Roosevelt signed a bill that proclaimed the area the Grand Canyon a game reserve. So let us know how many you got right. Put it down below in the comment section. I only ask because I need to know if I should make them harder for y'all. I mean, for all I know, these questions are too easy. Maybe they're too hard. You let me know. So have yourselves a great day. We will see you again tomorrow. And bye for now. <laughs>